All right, welcome back to the channel, folks. This is uh, Rory with Sterling Trails, and we're also Mill Creek Garlic because we're a garlic farm. Uh, but today I'm going to try to make a scarboard for my chainsaw. <coughs> out of this piece of uh, three inch PVC pipe. They found me a uh, piece of ply board. It uh, is uh, thin, it looks like it's a quarter inch. And I'm going to uh, cut it down uh, the one length down to match the exact length of the uh, pipe. And I made it a Slightly bigger, quarter inch bigger, I think, so I can make sure it would go through both ends. And now I'm going to cut it down to three and a half inches wide, uh, so it will represent the chainsaw blade with the chain on it. And then I'm going to attempt to uh, heat this pipe up, slide this board in there, and sandwich this down, and uh, make a uh, chainsaw holder for the back of my skid steer. I've had uh, wooden ones on here that uh, I only seem to back in and break when I'm in the woods. In fact, it's uh, over here on the tractor. It's in a safe spot. It carries my chainsaw on my tractor wonderfully. And all the screws are hidden behind wood. It nicely, but uh, on my skid steer, I just need something a little bit more rugged. So, I made myself a board that matches the width of my chainsaw. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Try this again. So I made me a board that's just as wide, about the same thickness as my chainsaw. And now we're going to go find two more boards so I can put clamps on this. And then we're going to go cook it. Stay tuned. Okay. Here's my tools, my uh, project I got going here. I'm going to try to cook that tube, heat it up, soften it up, and make a chainsaw holder out of it. And we're going to heat it up using my grill. <coughs> and put a piece of aluminum down. that we don't uh, we don't scorch it. We're gonna need to figure out how to keep it from rolling too. Heat her up.
Only about 40 degrees out. It's my last attempt. This thing cooled real quick. My GoPro battery uh, died on me and I did not realize it while I was making the uh, chainsaw carrier. And so I finished the project. But what I did is I took and I heated up an inch and a half worth of the uh, PVC pipe and I bent it over so I could make tabs. So I can mount it onto that two by six. It's even got it on the bottom, maybe you can see. And then the two by six I sent through the already uh, drilled out square holes. There's the other squares over here. I believe they're for adding uh, more weight to the back of your skid steer. You put plates back across here, I believe they have. And then I uh, Bent those tabs over, as you can see, it's it's a true barbecued Scarborough. Scarborough. And uh, I'll probably take that off and spray paint that with some black paint. Cover that right up. But uh, it's going to be super nice. carry my chainsaw out whether if I have the uh, metal fist on there or the grapple or if I've got the uh, winch as well and it won't get stopped by not having a chainsaw Alright guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please like, subscribe, it means a lot. Uh, hit the little bell icon uh, so you get reminders of uh, when I post new videos. Uh, I'm, at this point, I'm just tinkering and recording what I'm doing while I'm uh, enjoying my retirement. So, I don't know that I'll make one every day or every week, but uh, I'm newly retired and I am having a blast. Thanks all. Have a good day.